Okay. Okay. Well, yay. Yoga. Yay, yoga. Um, let's see. You know, um, well, I'm going to share this as we get started. Of course, the puppies are going to start playing now, but that's okay. <laughs> good energy. Puppies are good energy. Um, if you think back to when you first began your practice, and, um, you know, it's very common, I'm going to say with beginners, but are we all, like, I know I can all feel this. And when you start your, your practice, and let's say you take a downward facing dog, and that's like, maybe that's a very challenging place at the beginning, right? Eventually, maybe it becomes rest, but it, okay, I'm going to go actually, let's say like, you pick a pose that was like, oh, and you get in there and you feel, you know, pain and the breathing and this, and you're like, oh God, you know, like there's that, when will this end? And this is torture. And I've had people say that to me before, like, I don't know why I keep coming. This is torture. <laughs> and like, in, in a lot of ways it is, it can be very torturous to be in your body with yourself, to feel, to really feel and have no escape. You know, like when we, um, like if I say to you, you know, where do you find refuge? And you might say, because you're experienced yogis, oh, I, you know, when I come to the yoga mat, I can drop in and be with myself and find refuge within. Um, and that might also be, you know, Netflix and anything else that you do that gives you a refuge from, from stress. So I'll say at the beginning, you know, when we start practicing, there's not a lot of, it, it's not instant refuge. Sometimes you have that where you come to a class and you're like, oh, you know, I actually, see, one of you here, I know that that happened to your very first class. You're like, oh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? But, you know, it doesn't always happen. So it's just kind of a nice thing to kind of reflect on how you get to a point now when you get into a, a pose that could also trigger all those old feelings of like, oh my God, what am I doing? This is horrible. And then you drop in to the breath. When you take that pose now, it's more about like, okay, how can I use this pose to find the medicine I'm looking for or, my, or the, the refuge in this pose? How can I be in this uncomfortable place and invite in comfort? So I know you have that experience and you can probably think of one pose that you, you know, maybe shied away from and now you, you see the benefits. Oh, that's teaching me so much and, and you know, heart's nodding beside yeah. me. <laughs> I know for me, it's camel pose. Like that was like, I used to leave the room. It was that bad. And uh, okay, so we take that out. Then I just want to add one more thing. You know, here we are, we're doing yoga in our own space at home. You know, on a day like today, you don't need to go anywhere. You stay home, you're going to do your practice. You're in your comfort zone. And what we're essentially learning to do is to expand our comfort zone. How can we bring the comfort zone with us into uncomfortable situations? So bring your hands together, lengthen yourself tall, exhale, bow your chin, close your eyes, and welcome yourself home. And becoming comfortable in your silence. And within the silence, there is an opportunity for deeper listening. Just setting yourself up, so lengthening tall as you inhale, lift your heart, and as you exhale, let the shoulders drop, tail drop. <laughs> We will welcome ourselves to practice with only three times. Inhale to begin. Oh. 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 
and be staying as you are. Open your eyes, look at your hands, interlace the fingers, flip the palms, sweep up, reach up. Maybe look up, release your jaw. Oh, I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Thank you, though. Sorry, no, no, I appreciate it always. It's good. good. And one more nice big breath, length and tall. Don't release your hands, but take these hands behind your head. Yes, and then press your head into your hands. Start to lift your chin. Maybe you look up, lift your heart, open the elbows out. Drop the shoulders. One more breath. Good, come on here. Exhale, just bring the chin towards the chest. Keep the hands where they are. Bring the elbows to point towards uh, forward so that the arms come Forearms come aside, either side of your head. You got it. <laughs> Press the back of the head into the hands and keeping the head bowed, lift your chest a little bit. And drop the shoulders, drop the jaw. One more breath. And keep the head where it is. Just release the hands to the earth. Ooh, your head might magically come up. <laughs> Good, stay here. I'm going to keep my legs as they are. We're going to take twist. We'll inhale and exhale. Let's twist to the left. Yeah, you do what you got to do. I'm sitting on a bolster too. I'll just let you know that. And then let's just keep the hands where they are, but move the twist side to side. Move your head. Keep the jaw soft. Good. We'll do one more little floss. And then we'll hang out in the twist. If you can lift your heart, drop your shoulders. And even as I say lift the heart, there is a dropping in, like letting the tailbone get a little heavier. Let's take a nice big breath in. As you breathe out, just turn your head now to look over your right shoulder. And take your eyeballs to the right. Good. Okay, the right hand is just going to stay on this left thigh or left knee. We'll take the left arm, we'll reach it up, and we'll take a little side twist. We'll just lean it over to the side. And we're just going to dance this. So just coming back and forward, I'm going to start to circle that arm. But if it's just a little wave that's better for you, do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to circle. If the right hand's not happy there, just put it somewhere else. It's just kind of making this a little bit more crunchy. Good, start to watch that hand. And do one more. Good, and then release and come to rest if you need to change your legs or whatever you need to do. Just be in the stillness. I love this moment when you feel the difference in the two sides of the body. Always exciting, never boring, always present. Bring your hands together at your heart. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, just bow your chin, look down. Opposite, interlace the fingers, put the palms, inhale, reach up. And breathe here. Lengthening. Even, you know, as a lengthening, lift up and you try and keep that length as you release yourself back to the floor. One more breath. And then again, we'll bring these hands behind the head. You start to press the head into the hands, you lift the heart, open your wings, and you start to lean back into your hands. Wherever your eyes are, wherever your head is, let's take the eyes to 12 o'clock. You can take them up as high as they're going to go, like you want to look way behind you without taking tension in the shoulders. One more breath. And then again, we'll use the hands to bring the chin, bring the arms in, press the head into the hands, drop your shoulders. And in this place, can you lift your heart even a little bit? Just big breath in, 
and then release your hands to the floor, whatever your head does here magically, just, ooh, that's grace. <laughs> okay, inhale, and exhale, take your hands to the right, and we'll just floss this twist a little bit, just opening ourselves. Let your head turn, your jaw soft. And settling into the twist. And just finding all of those you know, anchor points, tailbone dropping, heart lifting, shoulders dropping, jaw dropping. You might even press yourself into your back body a little bit, see what that is. Take the solar plexus back, the ribs back. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, just turn your head. Just look over your left shoulder and then turn your eyeballs all the way to the left. Great. We'll take the side bend so the left hand's gonna stay where it is. You reach the right arm up and press it over. And then, you know, just find some movement here, just opening up the side ribs. So you can just go side to side or circle. Let the breath be like the, kind of the inner massage to the movement. Watch your hand, neck is turning, your eyes are turning. You feel the cat cow action happening. <laughs> Good. Okay, do the last one. And then just come back to your stillness and your rest and your sensational moments, feeling in. Awesome. Okay. Good. Okay, let's come out of the seat. We'll start by stretching your legs out. Move your feet around and well, I'm going to do this. You know, I take my teacher's class um, on Wednesdays. <laughs> so I was in her class, and for the first time I've ever seen her do this, she's never done it. And she actually said, you know, she's weaving the fingers in between the toes. This might feel strange. You know, get into the spaces. And I was like, ah, my people are so used to this. They could do it in their sleep. So we we'll just find it and, you know, use your thumb, like, do what you do. You know, you walk around your foot, hello foot, exploring and massaging into the spaces or even just widening the toes. Whatever is happening, use your heel, twist your foot, just create your own, you know, maybe another four breaths or so experience. And oh, hello little footy, I love you so much. <laughs> So I don't even talk to the camera. I actually talk that way to my body. <laughs> okay. Especially my tummy. I feel like I got so much to make up for. Okay. Release. Do what you got to do. Stretch it out. Look at your feet. And then pull the switch. Do the same thing. This is what you know. We all have that, these parts of ourselves that we're like, ah, oh, you know, just you have something that hurts, but you know, for Noah, it's her curly hair. She can't, we can't even talk about it without tears coming out that she has curly hair. And it's so heartbreaking because this is who you are. You're, she was literally known with the curly hair when she was little. That's what people called her because there were two Noahs, <laughs> both girls. <laughs> anyway, all right, good. So oh, here we are older and wiser with the hindsight of the past and you know, knowing what the miraculous, the fact that you're even here and alive and the sum of your parts is a miracle. So you can appreciate that with greater perspective. Okay. All right, friends, let's um, put down a blanket for your knees and Gonna move a little bit and start with cat cow. So whatever you need here, you can put it in. Um, you know, so you're going to bring the walks up, but 
you know, I feel like we are going to pop into a forward fold as well. So if you use blocks for that, you could just have them ready. You're just finding your hands and your knees. Oh, let's start with some shoulder uh, push up. So just keep your arms straight and lift your heart and bring it back down and just do this a few times, maybe there's a rolling of the shoulders, both directions, just explore this. <laughs> Good, and then we'll let that move into cat cable when you feel ready. We'll close your eyes, feel the jaw, the breath, tailbone, I widen my knees a little apart, I feel my toes tucked under, letting everything open. We'll make this a longer cat cow. I'm just going to walk my hands forward a little bit and move into a little bit of the front to back circular action if that works. You may find your own dance. There's no right, there's no wrong. How does this feel? What's your head doing? You need a bend in your elbow. Just explore. And then we'll reverse. If you're circling, do the reverse. Good. Just stay on hands and knees. Come to your neutral for a second. You can change anything you like as far as your knees and your feet go. We're just going to walk both hands over to the left. Just a little bit there. And then we'll come forward as you inhale. And as you exhale, you're just going to come back. And we're just going to do that a few times. And maybe your head might turn to the left as you come down. Just take some time to kind of figure this out. And then the next time you come back, we'll hang out here for a moment or two and allow the twist to unfold. Your head might drop to the floor, you grab your block. And once you come down, you might take your right hand a little bit more over to the left. Can you find a greater opening into these right side ribs or shoulder or hip, wherever you're feeling it? One more breath. Try it out here. And then as you inhale, bring yourself up. And exhale to center. And then let's pause. I'm going to sit on the toes because you know I love that. You do whatever you need to do just so you can feel for a moment what has occurred. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll come back. Good. I'm just going to pick up the feet, give them a little circling. And then this time I'm going to keep the tops of the feet down just for variety. Walk the hands over to the right. As you inhale, sweep yourself forward. And as you exhale, come back. And just do that a few times. Okay. And then the next time you come back, you might have had a wardrobe malfunction. Things gonna suck it up for a moment. Take your left hand, bring it over, find an opening somewhere. Maybe one more breath. And bring it back to center. Again, I'm going to sit. It's going to come forward on the blanket. I'm just sit for a moment. Okay. Downward facing dog. However you want to do it. Okay, what do I mean by that? Why do I say that? I, this is why I say that. However you want to do it. If you're at the wall, you want to take your heels to the wall. You could do that, you know, whatever you like. If you want to bend your knees and move a little bit here, then find that. Maybe you just drop your head. Feel strong in the arms, opening the legs and front of the feet, just whatever feels good. Just take uh, maybe three to four more breaths here. Settle in. And 
Maybe you keep your eyes closed and you're going to walk your feet to your hands and your hands to your feet, whatever works for you. We'll come into a forward fold. <laughs> okay, hang out here for a moment. Do whatever you like in this forward fold. Like if you need to move and feel your breath, this great connection to your legs. All right, from here, I'm going to sit down on the legs a little more. You might walk your feet a little wider apart. I'm going to bring the forearms to the thighs. And we're just going to take a standing cat-cow, kind of standing. So here you are. You're going to draw your belly in. Draw the tailbone down, tuck your chin. And then exhale, feel like the heart space is releasing. Tailbone back. And just do this a few times. Feel what your feet are doing. And then imagine or do it that you can sit down a little bit more and send the tush and thighs back a little bit more. It almost becomes more about the tail moving. Okay, I'm going to amp it up. It's the same action. I'm just going to take my arms and reach forward and then the, let the arms kind of move as you do this. You do two more. And you're going to fall back into the forward fold. You might sway your hips. My feet are nice and wide apart. You'll know, move the hips side to side and you know, walk it back into your downward facing dog. And in this downward dog, just lift one leg up at a time, just open, stretch, maybe bend the knee and open the hip. We love that. Oh. oh, so good. And then we'll switch. Put the other leg up. Open yourself. Stretch. From the inside out. Beautiful. All right. And then we'll put both feet down. Press back into this dog for one more breath. And then come on down. All right. Oh, so good. Okay, we're gonna move into a chest opener. I'm gonna use blocks. You're welcome to like substitute your blocks out for um, whatever you like. Like if you prefer to use a bolster and then just a block for your head, you can do that. It's been so long, I think I don't want my blocks. So I'm gonna have the one underneath the chest on the second height, and then I'll put this block on its highest height for the head. You know you can set up like this, and if you're like, oh, I don't want that much, then you just put your bolster on top. Okay, so here we are. Use the block. I take my fingers, lift the heart, and again, you know, you put the block on the lowest height if that's better medicine for you. And then once you get in, it's always helpful to just kind of lift the chest and snuggle it onto your block. Hopefully that feels okay. Head is nicely supported. So you have the back of the skull on the block. And then once you're in here, just before we completely melt inwards, let the jaw drop. I have my knees bent. You can have your legs straight. Push the back of your head into the block and at the same time, pull the chin in. You can just you know, stay with that action for one more breath. Push the back of the head into the block, pull the chin in. Feel what that does to the heart space and the shoulders, and then let that go. So you might need to adjust your hips. Or... Okay, so that's yours now. Now you're just gonna drop in. Maybe like every few moments here, you're just gonna reestablish that pressing the back of the head pulling the chin in, just feeling what that does along the sides of your neck, shoulders, back of the heart, and then we'll see. You let yourself melt into this shape, and then once you feel, oh, I'm melting, 
Then maybe you re-engage the head, the chin. And then melt again. So that action, we're just inviting you know, the back of the neck, the spine, start of the spinal column. And all of those nerves that are there, just kind of be planted into their spaces and release the tension inside of the neck. As we hover in midair. And then stay as we are on your props. You can reach your arms up to the sky. Let's do a little shoulder flossing here. And then maybe you move your arms towards your legs, like just 30 degrees and floss a little bit. And then we'll take them over uh, 30 degrees between all the way up and all the way down. Just floss again. Great. And we'll just take the arms straight up to the sky, but let the shoulders drop. Open your hands, fingers spread, but melt your heart space. And then start to initiate almost like a cow pose. You feel the tailbone starting to just, you know, without lifting your hips, the tailbone is just lifting. Get more pressure into the back of the heart. And then we'll start to take these arms overhead. And they don't have to go all the way over. You can keep them straight and in line with each other. Just reach. And then move into a bit of a cow pose. It's almost like lifting the mid back. Feel the tails dropping towards the floor. I'm going to anchor the back of the head, pull the chin in. Okay. Just sweep the arms out to the sides and all the way, hands to the floor. Okay, I'm going to come up to sitting. So maybe I'm going to grab the back of the head and lift the head first. Good. And then curl up, if that works. Use your hands or no hands. And then as quick as you can, take these blocks out of the way and we're going to come to lie down and I'm going to do that from like it is a cow pose you know the tailbone you know everything oh so good and can you stop when you're just almost at the bottom just to fire it up maybe you want to lift your legs and be like oh look at me palms can be facing up reach 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 and then oh, you're not down yet drop down nothing okay so just as you are it's going to lift your head up off the floor and keep your eyes closed if you like pull the sides of your head away as if someone's yanking on your Head, pulling it away, pulling it away. Can get longer in the back of your skull. And then set your head down. Feel like you're resting on the back of your skull. Push it into the floor. Pull the chin in. So the chin comes in and almost like up towards the ears. Like if, uh, let me say, yeah, that, that works. Or lower jaw towards your ears. You're just drawing it up. Feel what that does in your body as you and then keep that action soften to the floor. And then you can let that all go. Let your feet flop if you like. Do nothing. Okay. Keep your legs as they are. If they're straight out, we're just going to put the heels, plant the backs of the heels on the floor, toes pointing up. Okay, let's do a little hip walking here. So extend your right leg and then the left leg. So you're just hiking the hip up on each side. Feel everything moving. If you want to take your arms over your head and add the arms, you know, climbing the ladder. Good work. Good. Okay, and then come to like just standing on the floor kind of a thing, so wherever your arms are. Okay, so you feel that left heel planted, left leg planted. As you inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky. 
Bend the knee, reach your arms up and over, interlace, catch hold of this knee and draw it in and out. Because we have, I didn't, we have any props underneath us. Um, you can always put something under your head, just feel this. Good. Okay. Um, Keeping the left hand on the knee, let's take the right arm out to the side. Inhale and exhale, just draw this leg over, maybe into the twist, but we're just gonna flow back and forwards and come back onto your back, change hands, open this knee out to the right. And then coming back, but you're gonna let yourself roll onto the left side. You know, when you come to the left and just very purposefully here, you know, the leg's not straight, so the hip joint is, you know, tucked in. And just allow the left leg to move. It's rolling. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, and we're gonna roll all the way to the left side. You can put your left foot on top of, I mean, sorry, your right foot on top of the left thigh if you like that, or let the left foot drop to the floor. Put your left hand on your left thigh or somewhere there. Maybe you just massage this leg a little bit or your outer hip or anything here. Okay, we're gonna let the left hand travel up to the right hip. I'm gonna use the, the, the baby toe or baby finger edge of the hand. Just put it into this hip crease area and push it away. As you inhale and as you exhale, you can let it come back and take the right arm overhead. And just stretch and breathe here. So you might even feel the left leg, maybe the right leg too, come a little active as you inhale and open. And then they can soften. Okay, let's do one more. Good. And then we'll just soften here so you can let everything just relax and you stay in the twist. Okay, everything's soft. I'm gonna lift the head up off the floor. Lengthen sides of the head as much as you can. Put the head down. Once it's down, anchor the back of the head. Pull the chin in. And notice what happens to the right hip when you do that. It might even be opening on its own. Breathe. One more breath. Good. Okay. Make your way back onto your back. With the right knee into your chest, hug it in. Plant this right foot on the floor. Okay, maybe you need to, I need to readjust myself on the mat. You might have to do that too. We're going to keep the left leg straight, right leg is bent, arms wherever you like. Heel toe your right foot over to the right, like you're doing an awesome dance, like really like let it go. And then heel toe it back in towards the left thigh. Mm -hmm. Invoke any music you like. Do, 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 do. Okay, one more. I'm going to walk it in and then walk it back out. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And then you find the distance. You feel free to walk that foot anywhere. Okay, left leg is like you're standing on it. So I, I'm not right at the wall here with the left foot. You find what works for you. Exhale, soften. As you inhale, open this right knee out to the right and let the foot lift. And then as you exhale, take this right knee to the inside of the left thigh. Good. Okay, let the foot, maybe the foot is dancing this in because there is a deep heel and hip connection. So just feel all of that. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this little dance. I'm going to interlace the fingers, take the arms over my head, breathe. Okay, maybe you anchor the back of the head to the floor, pull the chin in. Maybe the ribs come in. Almost like you want to stick yourself to the floor. Good. Okay, next time it comes in, so the right knee in towards the left thigh. I'm going to keep it there. Just flex your right foot. Now, you know where your right hip is. 
Imagine that right hip wants to go all the way down the front of the thigh to the right knee and say hello. And you send it down there. So you get a little bit longer through the right side. Maybe you anchor your, the right side, even if it's lifting towards the floor. Yeah. And then soften, release, bring this knee up, hands come up, bring this right thigh in, rock and roll a few times. Okay, I'm gonna rock and roll up to sitting because that's fun. And even if it's just a lift of the head and the chest and you're like, that's as far as I get, that's awesome. Maybe come all the way up and then slowly, or you just, oh, you always got the eye and the connection. How slow can you do this? Can we do, uh, I don't say one more, but I know I want to do two more. So but you, you go with wherever you are and just find the play. All right, all the way down. I'm just going to stretch the right leg up. It can stay bent. I'm just going to massage back of the thigh, back of the calf, front, anything there. Just ooh, wake it up. Good. All right. I'm going to keep the right leg lifted. Take the arms down. Now, feel your tailbone. Are you in cat or cow? And if we take our thumb into this right thigh and start to push the thigh just from the, from the hip, push it away. So the leg might move away. You're gonna feel, maybe you become more uh, on the ground. The left leg is a little easier to keep upright. Press the back of the head into the floor. Good, okay. And then open your arms. We're gonna swing this leg side to side so you can bend it or you keep it straight this time. If you wanna use your hands, you know, they can like, as if they're tossing the leg side to side. <sighs> Enjoy. All right, and I'm gonna keep the leg open to the right. So I don't need to use my hands. It could just be like a little bit out to the right. <sighs> just play with that or you hold on or you have your blocks. Okay, I'm going to find the softening in the right hip. That might mean turning the toes down, heel up a little bit. Okay, and then take the leg up and lower it all the way down. Then we push up through the heel. We open this hip, open this hip, and then we flop and feel, flop and feel, flop and feel. Okay, that can be a lot for the back. I'm going to put in a windshield wiper before we do the other side. Okay, bend your knees, feet to the floor, and windshield wiper. Wait up. Mm, feels so good. Okay, and then we'll do same routine on the side. Ah, oh, you know, I'm gonna give one more little interview before we do the second side. Come to just lie on your back. Hopefully your blocks are within reach. You can grab one block. I'm gonna take this block. Uh, lengthwise and just put it right between the thighs. It would get really nice and personal with you. So if you can get it like into the thigh flesh and it could be right up. Okay, then find your basic resting pose. You're gonna heel toe your feet a little wider apart. Ooh, the right foot feels so much more open to do that. Turn the heels out, toes in, and then <clears throat> in this basic resting pose, press into the block. And as you push into the block and you're pushing in, now it's like you want to move the block towards your feet. Can you, it, it's, it's so subtle. You're just going to feel like, oh, just put, even just putting your mind there. You might notice some of you, you know, if you can get that action that the hip creases almost tuck in, you feel like you're moving into a cow pose. So the tailbone's dropping down. And maybe there's a, Pressing the back of the head and pulling the chin in and lengthening. So you're just pressing. You might notice that the ribs come in. One more of this here and then, okay, soften all of that effort. Okay, remove the block. 
I'm going to do the to do the second side. I'm going to start with lifting that straight left leg. You're welcome. Just bring the left leg into your chest. Otherwise, extend your legs, plant the heels, and then really put your mind in the right leg. Anchor it so you can sweep this left leg up towards the sky, and then bend the knee, hug it in, change the interlace of your fingers, and give some little pulsing here. Just waking up. Uh, there's a cat cow action happening, maybe you might feel. And I'm going to add the head. And we're going to let the head soften, and we're going to start to just take this side to side. So the right hand holds this knee, left arm out to the side, take it over, and switch. <laughs> Yeah, just keep going. We're laughing because we covered it before. Get her, she stops. <laughs> All good. All right. Continue. Move slow. Move with your breath. Enjoy this. Like this beautiful dance. And the next time you come over to the right side, we'll hang out there. You prop up as you need to or release into this. And take the right hand and massage the outer left leg a little bit or the hip. So the right foot is turned. I'm going to take that right thumb up into the hip crease and just open as you inhale. Good. You can take the left arm up and alongside your ear and add that full inner extension as you breathe in. You might notice the legs engage. You're fully in it. Okay. Okay. And we'll soften. Just relax. Good. Okay. From here, I'll I think I interlace the fingers and swept the arms overhead. So I'm just going to do that in the twist, and then we'll anchor the head. Pull the chin in and notice what that does to this hip. One more breath. And then release from this. Bend the knee, come back onto your back. Good. And adjust what you need to adjust. And then find this holding of the foot, of the knee for one moment. And then we're going to set this. Left foot to the floor, arms wherever you like again. Okay, good. And we'll just heel toe this left foot as far out to the left as it's gonna go. And then you'll heel toe it back in. Soften your shoulders, your jaw. Quickest way to do that is to smile. We'll swap in and out. Oh. Next time your foot comes out, you're going to find the place that you want it to be at. Settle the touching floor. Both sides are fully weighted. And then as you exhale, open this knee out to the left. Inhale. Maybe wow. it's an exhale to take the knee to the inside of this right thigh. Just flow with this a few times. <laughs> Happens if you anchor the back of your head here. Pull the chin in. And then let that head go. And I'm just going to let the left knee, as it comes in towards this right thigh, be there. And then just find this. You know, um, the left foot is active, the hips are hugging towards each other. Left knee is anchoring to the floor in a in a help way that doesn't evoke any discomfort. You anchor the back of the head. Good. Okay. And then release from that. Good. Okay. We'll bring the knee in. I'm going to extend the leg up to the sky and just give this leg a little massage. Mm -hmm. 
Just rock this leg side to side with each other. Again, you know, you could use your hands and play past and knowing we're going to keep this leg out to the left now, wherever it goes, you know, it could be upright and just a little off center. You can soften the hip a little bit. If you bend your knee, that's going to soften the hip. More challenging when the leg is open. We add the head press, the chin in, the ribs in. Okay. Good. And then we'll I'm gonna hug both knees in. I know we're gonna rock and roll on this side too. I'm just gonna hug both knees in for a second. Let them come in and out. Open the back. Almost a little bit of a tummy exercise too. You know, as you lift the tail and use your lower abdominals. Okay. And now we'll keep this right uh, left knee in. I'm gonna extend the right leg. I'm gonna come up and down three times. So even if you just lift your head, you're like, oh, this is mine. And then come back down. Like that's great work. Okay. And then just enjoy this. Like, <laughs> there's a press. It's like I, I push it. There's no cheating. There's no cheating. There's assisting, but you know, you're doing all the work no matter what. Okay. Last one. Come down. And then release and come to just flop and feel. Well, I am aware of the time, but I, I feel like I just really want to go here, which is onto the tummy. So I'm going to rock and roll up to seated and then come to lie down. Just do that a few times. Okay. Then we'll come up. I'm just going to flip it. So I'm just moving this blanket up just to, um, so hopefully it'll fall in a place that feels good, just at the tops of the thighs. Okay, I'm just going to rest here for two or three breaths. So adjust yourself, feel yourself on the floor. Okay. And then once you're here, friends, and settled, then let's lift one leg up, extend it, the other one, get longer. Let's tuck the toes under, press through the heels so your legs almost, you know, get a little active. And then rock the heel side to side. Little hip stuff. And then coming back to long legs, tops of the feet down. I'm going to come up for cobra, and it's just a dancing cobra. So the hands come down, lift your heart, maybe lift your head, maybe that's as far as it gets. And then just start to look over side to side, just a dance. You're just moving. Maybe you want to come up higher. Maybe not. Maybe you want to drop one shoulder and the other. Just find it. How can you move here? You can move your hips. You can move your legs if you like. It's like a little squirming baby who's on his tummy for the first time. Good. And then we'll start to rock the legs towards each other. And we're going to bend. I'm just going to come into this position as I bend this right knee and then lift yourself up, take that leg over. Maybe press up into your hands and then we'll just slowly lower and switch sides. And so just move slow and savor. Okay, if you feel like, oh, I'm feeling fiery, what's next? So, and I take this left foot over to the right and then plant it down. I'm going to come up into wild thing here. So I'm on the hand. Whoa! Look at me go. And then I'll come back down. Look at us go. Okay, and then very slowly. Oh, switch sides. And then stay here or be like, ah, oh, look at me. Yeah, good. Okay. And then come down and if you want to do that again, do it again. Otherwise, maybe separate your legs, rest your head. And let's take a little egg beater here, just so the thighs stay on the floor and you know, make some circles. Let the hips really move. Like you can accentuate the hip movement here. 
Okay, and then you are ready. Maybe you just change direction. Okay. And then we're just going to take five breaths to rest. I'm going to keep my knees bent, let the heels kind of drop forward as if I'm at a slumber party, and just let them drop out away from each other. Really, really let go. Now feel into your beating heart and your breath and vibrational energy that we become more attuned to. The more we invest in our practice, we can feel that. We probably didn't feel it at the beginning. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to press up and back to child's pose. And feel free to throw any props in you like. I'm going to put my knees together, tops of the feet now, just to get more into the belly. Because I love that. And open the back. And you can always throw your bolster or rolled blanket between your hips. And your, like right into the hip crease. If you, if you prefer that. One more full breath. I know. And then let's come up to sitting however you like. And we're just going to sit here. Just going to sit here and do nothing for a moment. <laughs> just let your eyes close and feel like you're almost pressing the back of your head into the floor. Your walk and the chin is coming in. The shoulders drop. Okay, if you get that, you might even feel like your hands kind of want to slide back on your thighs. So the shoulders can drop towards the elbows. One more breath. And then very gently. I mean, our next pose is Shavasana. So take your time. So I'm going to do legs up the wall. Um, good medicine. For Shavasana. You're welcome to Shavasana to whatever you like. We have like just about eight minutes or so. So whatever is going to make you feel like, oh, I can just relax. Like the legs up the wall is not a resting pose for you. That's probably not where you want to be right now. No. If it is, because you're an experienced practitioner, <laughs> right? And um, what is the name of the game? You know, not, you know what? We work on parigraha, is the Sanskrit word for non attachment. Non attachment. So you know, sometimes, you know, like I said, you know, when you're a beginner, you have those poses. But here, as an experienced practitioner, you, you understand the poses differently. And if you're like, oh, this is not what I need right now, you can feel that. So however you've chosen to rest, lengthen your head, the back of your neck. And you connect. The base of the skull, where the, the vertebrae starts, where the spinal column begins or ends, whichever way you look at it. And you feel like, oh, I'm resting my spinal column, I'm resting my central nervous system. And the safety and groundedness of my own space. Allow your eyes to soften as if they're resting on the back of the skull. Your tongue resting. And then your inner ears, all the senses of your face just drawing to the back of the skull. Resting into the earth.
inviting that invitation, softening, releasing, grounding. Come all the way the length of your spine, right to the base, along the length of each leg. Softening and relaxing the soles of your feet. Your toes and the spaces between your toes. Feeling that awareness travel you back up to your heart space, back of the heart, resting in the front of the heart, expanding with each breath in a very you know, gentle way. You don't need to do anything to make that happen. Just noticing. Letting the arms be heavy. Extension of your heart. Your hands relaxed. Palms relaxed. Resting in your stillness. And I'm just inviting yourself now to release into the deepest state of relaxation. Gifting yourself permission to stay as long as you like. And if you are going to come out and starting with the breath and any gentle movements that you intuitively are feeling you want to make as you gently awaken yourself. It's deep awareness. The miraculous connections of your body or your wisdom of experience and your incredible self-love really guides this work. Nowhere to go, but come up to seated and just to be in your stillness and your silence for a little bit longer. As you come to sit here, just being aware of this renewed lengthen, lengthening, awakening of your back body of the spine of your crown of your head even. And when you're ready, friends, we'll join the palms of the heart and bow your chin, all that you are, all that you offer yourself, your own presence and practice. Let's just seal this class with one ohm. Inhale. Oh. 
Breathe into your hands, catch your breath, pause here. And then whatever you place there, whatever you need right now. Patience, clarity, whatever it is, I'll offer it to yourself. Someone to make you a cup of tea, whatever it is. And then we'll offer that out. Good. Let's bring your hands together. So much love, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing this time with me. Thank you. Beautiful to be back and I'll see you all on Tuesday, hopefully. So much love. Enjoy the rest of this day. Namaste. Yes, I see you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always thank you. Yogis, thank you. <laughs>